Hi there. Um, so today I'd like to um, continue reading letters um, of Alexandra from Tobolsk um, to her friends, mainly to Anya Verubova. And um, today's letter is dated uh, 9th of January, 1918. So we're, we're now in 1918. Um, I don't have any more of the late 1917 letters. Um, this letter is pretty long. Um, it's about two pages typed. So, um, and I'm going to read the whole thing. Um, so just bear with me. I hope you enjoy. Um, and again, uh, before I start, um, I'll ask you to, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel uh, and please like and comment because uh, that will get my channel noticed and it will get me more subscribers. And when I get to a thousand, I can do live broadcasts, hopefully. So, um, so yeah, subscribe and comment. Please ask questions. Um, let me know what the sound is like because um, someone had mentioned that one of my videos when they put background music on, even low, um, it uh, interferes with, with my, me speaking. So um, let me know if that's really the case. And uh, to me it sounds fine, but let me know if it's hard to hear me. Um, okay, well, here we go. Uh, so Alexandra to Anya Verubova, 9th January of 1918. Thank you, darling, for all your letters, which were a great joy to me and to us all. On Christmas Eve, I received the letter and the perfume, then more sent by Little. I regret not having seen her. Did you receive the parcel sent through the several friends, flour, coffee, tea, and lapsha? Lapsha is, is kind of a um, spaghetti type pasta. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not macaroni. It's um, it's more of a long, long pasta like like spaghetti or uh, fettuccine or something like that. I, I think it might be flat. The letters and the snapshots sent through. Did you get them? I am worried as I hear that all parcels containing food are open. I begin today to number my letters, and you must keep account of them. Your cards, the small silver dish, and Lily's tiny silver bell I have not yet been able to receive. So they did notice that um, their mail and their parcels and their letters started to go missing. So that's when they started numbering their letters. That way they knew that if they're missing anything, um, that, that uh, there is a missing letter in, in between. And I believe that when they received letters, writer also um, started numbering them because they asked them to. We all congratulate you on your name day. May God bless, comfort, strengthen you, and give you joy. Believe, dear, that God will yet save our beloved country. He will not be unforgiving. Think of the Old Testament and the sufferings of the children of Israel for their sins. And now it is we who have forgotten God and that is why they cannot bring any happiness. How I prayed on the 6th that God would send the spirit of good judgment and the fear of the Lord. Everyone apparently have lost their heads. The reign of terror is not over yet, and it is the sufferings of the innocent which nearly killed us. What do people live on now that everything is taken from them, their homes, their incomes, their money? We must have sinned terribly for our Father in heaven to punish so frightfully. But I firmly and unfalteringly believe that in the end he will save us. The strange thing about the Russian character is that it can so suddenly change to evil, cruelty, and unreason, and can as suddenly change back again. This is in fact simply want of character. Russians are in reality big, ignorant children. However, it is well known that during long wars, all bad passions flame up. What is happening is awful, the murders, the persecutions, the imprisonments, but all of it must be suffered as if we are to be cleansed, newborn. 
she only knew that this was only the beginning and how bad things would get later in the 20s and the 30s in Russia after their murders, of course. Forgive me, darling, that I write to you so sadly. I often wear your jackets, the blue and the mauve, as it is fearfully cold in the house. Outside the frosts are not often severe, and sometimes I go out and even sit on the balcony. The children are just recovering from Scarlatina, except Anastasia, who did not catch it. The elder ones begin the new year by being in bed, Marie, of course, having a temperature of 39 and a half. The hair is growing well. Lessons have begun again. Yesterday, I gave three. Today, I am free and I am therefore writing. On the 2nd of January, I thought if you, if you and sent a candle to be set before the Holy Seraphim. I have asked that prayers may be said in the cathedral where the relics lie for all our dear ones. You remember the old pilgrim who came to Sarsko Silo? Fancy that he has been here. He wandered in with his big staff and sent me a prosphora. Holy, that's a holy a communion bread. I have begun your books. The style is quite different from the others. I've got myself some good books too, but have not much time, time for reading. I embroider, I knit, draw, and give lessons, but my eyes are getting weaker so that I can no longer work without glasses. You will see me quite an old woman. Did you know that the Marine officer, Nicholas Demenkov, has appendicitis? He's in Odessa. Now, of course, Nikola, Nikolai Demenkov is uh, Maria's uh, beloved officer, and uh, we'll talk about him, him and Maria. Um, in, in the future, one of the future broadcasts, but um, uh, they were getting news about the people and the officers that they, they were close to and that they liked. So, one of our wounded, Ora Boyarsky, was operated on there a month ago. He's so sad and homesick, so far away. I correspond with his mother, a gentle, good, and a really Christian soul. Lily Den went to see her. I trust you received the painted cards that I put in a parcel of provisions. Not all were successful. If you receive my letters, just write. Thanks for number one, etc. My three maids and Isa are still not allowed to come to us, and they are very much distressed, just sitting idle, but is of better use on the outside. Little one, where, where are your brother Serge and his wife? I know nothing of them. Your poor sister Alia, I hope she's not too sad. She has friends, but her husband has not become too sad away from her. How are the sweet children? Miss Ida is still with her still, I hope. Did you know her sister Grekova is to be married soon to Baron Taube? I believe this is a different Baron Taube than the G Georgi Taube that we know, um, who is um, Anastasia's uh, favorite officer. Uh, but I'll have to check on that. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a different one, like a cousin or something. How glad am I that you have seen AP? Did he not seem strange out of uniform? And what did he say about his brother? Ah, all is past and will never return. We must begin a new life and forget self. I must finish, my dear little soul. Christ be with you. Greetings to all. I kiss your mother. I congratulate you again. I want quickly to finish the small painting and get it to you. I fear you are again passing through fearful days. Reports filter through of murders or officers. I'm afraid for Rodionov. He's there with his brother. Your sister, M. This is how she signed the letter. Your sister, M. Um, I'm not sure why. 
what your sister M is, but it's uh, definitely Alexandra writing. And that's it. That's the end of the letter. Uh, today, for show and tell, I would like to show you a book that I got in Tsarskoye Law in 2018. And it is a book on Alexander Palace. And it is called, it's Russian, of course, it's called Alexander Palace in Tsarskoye Silo and the Romanos. So um, it is um, the, the story of, of the palace and um, of, of how it was connected to the Romanos and how, um, when it was built and uh, just the general history of it. It has a lot of uh, really nice pictures. This is the back of it and has a lot of like really nice pictures. I'll, I'll see if I can um, scan some for you. Um, and um, I got it at a local bookstore there. And um, see, it even has um, plans. I don't know if you can see it, but I will. I will post it um, for you separately. Um, it has uh, some nice plans. It has pictures of, of different people who lived there, who stayed there. It even has some scans of some letters that were written from there. And um, of course it starts from uh, from the 17th century when it was built by uh, Catherine the Great for her grandson Alexander, hence it's um, Alexander Palace. So it's a really good book. Uh, it's in Russian, of course. It would be nice if uh, there was one in English, but uh, not yet, but hopefully I'll be able to uh, give you some information from it, translate things, and um, pass on some of the interesting information at some point in the future. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, broadcast today. Please uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions, as usual, and um, please subscribe, please like, please comment, um, click on the, the little notification bell so that you don't miss any broadcast and you'll get notified every time a new video is is posted and uh, i will see you again soon bye <laughs>